Hello everyone, my name's Suzanne from Nonstop Paper Crafts. Welcome back to my craft room. Before we start, I just want to apologise. It has been a little while since my last video. Um, those of you that have been following the Junk Journaling for Everyone Facebook group challenge where we have been making an office themed journal, you will know that I have had a lot of technical issues. Um, I have tried to record a few videos since then but yeah, my technology just does not love me at the moment. In a nutshell, I need to upgrade. So I'm going to start saving up my pennies and hopefully in the near future, I will be able to upgrade and then get back to regular recording. But I think until then, unfortunately, um, they're gonna have to just be short videos, maybe just some flip throughs where I do design team projects. Um, but yeah, until I can upgrade my technology, uh, it will have to be short videos for now. In this particular video, I would like to share with you um, some new purchases that I've made. So I purchased some dies and some stamps from a company called iMoon Crafts. I will put their link down below. There is also a discount code. So if you go shopping there yourself, uh, there is a code for 15% off uh, down below. So make sure that you use that as well. Um, I will be using um, a couple of the dies in the make that I'm doing today. So I am making um, a few items using the beautiful digitals from uh, Natalie at line.arrow. So in her Facebook group, she has um, files where she has different digitals for free. At the moment, there are some spring themed ones. So that's what I'm gonna be working on today. But before we get into that, I just wanted to show you what I got from uh, iMoon Crafts. So the first thing are these beautiful nesting label dies. I love the different shapes of them. I love that they come in different sizes because I can layer up or create borders. Um, yeah, there are just so many possibilities. And like I said, I'm gonna be playing with these today in um, the make that I'm doing with the line.arrow digitals. But yeah, I absolutely love these shapes and I love that it was a set of three. So you get all of these. Um, in the set and they cut really really well that's one thing I must say I've been very impressed with with this company because I haven't ordered from, from them before so I didn't do a massive order um, but yeah I must say I'm very impressed considering they weren't I mean they weren't AliExpress cheap but they were cheap dies and stamps that I bought um, but they cut so well and you can tell just by feeling them that they're very good quality, they're nice and heavy, they're quite sturdy, um, they're not flimsy like you sometimes get if you do order from uh, AliExpress. So I got that set. I also ordered, uh, I'll flip this over so you can actually see it. Uh, so I ordered this stamp, so it's a coffee and tea themed stamp. So it's got lots of like little doodles on it. You've got a little, tea or coffee cup there you've actually got a coffee cup shaped with coffee beans um, it says tea house you've got tea leaves um, and like I said lots of sort of squiggles and notes and things but I just thought that was a beautiful background stamp brilliant for card making so I made a greeting card here happy birthday and I've just raised it up a little bit with foam tape and it's just a quick and easy card. Um, the background is very busy, so I don't need to do anything else to it, and it makes a lovely card. Um, when I was buying the different stamps and dies, I was also thinking about journal making, but I thought that would make a brilliant journal card. Also, if I just did some partial stamping on a page in a journal, I thought that would be brilliant. So, um, yeah, very happy. And as you can see, it stamps really well. Um, it's all nice and clear. So, yeah, that was a lovely um, stamp from that company. Um, the next purchase was a die, so it's this um, beehive type die with the little hexagons. Um, so again, I used it for a greeting card, but I thought again, this would be great for journaling cards. It would also be great for a bee themed journal. Um, it'd probably really go actually with the spring theme, so I could have flowers and things coming up behind, uh, in front of the hive. Um, I used some bigger hexagons that I have in my stash uh, to cut these pieces. And then um, it does cut out these. I just put them back in just so um, it just made it look a little bit more random. But like I said, these have cut so well. I was very, very impressed. Um, and yeah, just a cute and simple card. But yes, I really love that one. 
Uh, the next one that I ordered, uh, this was just a cute set if I'm honest, I just went for cute on this one. So it's different cloud shapes and rainbows and there's even a little sunshine and a, a little thunderbolt in there as well. But again, I just thought how cute is that for um, a little journaling card? I just thought that was absolutely perfect. Again, you can use it for greeting cards. I've got other stamp sets and things that would go with that if I was going to do a greeting card. Um, but I just thought, yeah, that's a nice little cutesy um, journaling card. So I was really pleased with that one as well. And the last one that we have is this one here. Now, unfortunately, I have broken it all up, so you'll, you can't really sort of see what it is just from looking at the dies. There are lots and lots of pieces in here, which I loved about this set. Um, I was very excited about getting this one. This was my favourite one that I was looking forward to. Um, it is bird themed, so you've got a little toucan in there, and it does say Happy Bird Day, and Toucan Do It, and then there's um, kind of like the banner that you can put the sentiments into you've got leaves in here there's flowers in there and what it makes is this little interactive card um, obviously it could be a greeting card you could pop it onto um, a card base but I made this into like a journaling card so there's space on the back to write and actually looking at these digitals that I've used I think they are actually Natalie's again from Line Dot Arrow um, from a past project that I've been doing um, but yeah, I just thought they were really pretty. So yeah, what it makes is an interactive card. So when you pull up the top here, it will then reveal a hidden spot underneath. And then you can push that back down. Um, and then I've just used this to kind of help keep this closed a little bit. Um, and then I've used some of the leaves up the side, some of the flowers, I've even put the flower on the front there. But as I said, lots of journaling space on the back. You can even journal on the back of the card there. And then obviously you've got that journaling space there for something hidden but I just thought that was so cool and like I said I know it should be used for a greeting card but I was trying to pick things that I could use for both journaling and card making so that's those right so back to today's make then so as I said I'm using the freebies that are in the line.arrow Facebook group um, Natalie has very kindly put in lots of spring slash Easter themed stuff um, I have some of the mini stamps from the faux stamp challenge uh, that Natalie had a couple of weeks ago so I will be including some of those as well. Uh, one of the freebies she has is this cute envelope so I've just um, used some ink on the inside just to kind of vintage it up a little bit but this is such a cute little envelope I love it and I love the blues on there. Um, I absolutely adore these cute little bunnies that are in um, her sets as well. You get a whole page and then those bunnies would have been here. There's another little bunny that you could use. Lots and lots of flowers. Um, so yeah, I'll probably be using all of those as well. Uh, but for my envelope, I've got some of the tags here as well. So these again, all in her Facebook group. And I was just trying to think. So this one I have cut out using this shape so this is the second to largest one and it cuts cuts that out um i did put it up against i've just been having it sitting under here so it lays flat uh, so that's the border so that's the gap between the largest and the second to largest and i was going to try and make a little pocket out of that which is why i've stuck it onto some vellum um but yeah this i was thinking of maybe putting on here somewhere I've got some of the, again, faux stamps from the faux stamp uh, challenge. I was thinking I could put my little bunny on there for that tag. This is where I want the pocket because, again, I was thinking I could have this cluster maybe back here with the bunny looking over. And then if I make this a pocket, then somebody can slip in like who it's to or the address, I don't know. Um, but I thought that might look quite cute. Um, I've got this tag here which has these lovely florals on and then this is one of the clusters that I made with the faux stamps and some of my wax seals. I just thought that might be quite cute just being attached there. Uh, and then I've got a couple of smaller ones, I'm not too sure what to do with those yet. So, right, let's start sticking some bits down then, shall we? So I'm just trying to think about colours. Oh, that looks quite nice. Right, okay, so let's ink this up a little bit. So 
So as I say, I have been having the most awful technical issues and I now <laughs> keep looking up at my phone just to check that it's okay. Um, but every time over the last few weeks now that I've been trying to record, I either lose the sound or it's cut out after five minutes. Um, my phone's been overheating, um, it's been freezing. Um, I've actually had to send it back to uh, Samsung because um, it kept freezing and I couldn't do anything. They had to restore it to factory settings, which was an absolute bummer because me being the donut that I was, I hadn't backed up anything uh, before it went. And then obviously when they had to wipe it, I had lost everything. So lesson learned, I now back up regularly. Um, yeah, suffice to say, I have had nothing but issues with this particular phone. Now, I must say I'm disappointed because normally I am quite the fan of Samsung. I do love Samsung. Uh, I know lots of people use iPhones. Now, I do have an iPad, but generally speaking, I'm not an iPhone fan. Um, I just find it so restrictive. And lots of people that I know that have iPhones, they just seem to have nothing but problems seeing the same things that everybody else does so even in facebook i know the layout's different or they might have different options and yeah that just seems like way too much fuss for me um so yes i need to look into a new recording equipment i've been looking into using either a different type of camera altogether so not one that's just on my phone um, I've been looking at, at webcams actually so I can connect it up to my computer and I can kind of do a dual screen then um, yeah so I'm just considering my options at the moment seeing how much I actually need to save up <laughs> but yeah it's just been a nightmare very frustrating because as I say I've got so many crafts on the go I've got my design team project for line.arrow that's underway that I'm really excited about I'll show you the papers in a moment actually because um, I've been working on the cover and I've got all my papers ready for my signature I haven't actually done anything with them yet that's my that's my tomorrow job I'm actually going to be putting it all then into the cover and getting it all ready and then do my final pockets and decorations after that but I'll show you the papers in a moment so because it's a lovely kit it's Natalie's spring writings kit um, and it's just absolutely lovely again lots of spring colours um, and uh, yeah I like the fact that because it's spring writing so it's got lots of postal bits and lots of collages which is completely up my street so I really really love it actually I'm going to show you now Okay, sorry, interrupting because I need to show you this kit. It is beautiful. So um, I have printed double-sided um, and these are all of the background pages. There are extra pages on top of this, but you can just see how gorgeous is that. All of the um, different postcards. I just love all of this handwritten stuff. Absolutely beautiful. Again, with air mails. So because it's spring writings, there's lots of like letters and postcards in here just love the greens how vibrant is that it's so beautiful really really love it so I'm very excited to be using this kit and as I say these are just the base pages there are um, lots of different ephemera pieces again the tags all of the fussy cuts that um, Natalie always does oh, I love that that's so beautiful I just love that it's got like, like these little splodges on oh that's beautiful as well I'm not gonna lie I love the whole kit I'm gonna say every page is beautiful it's all absolutely gorgeous um, this again I'm, I'm gonna say it's this I absolutely love this is one of my favorites um, it probably yeah this one and the next one I love that this looks like a folded page that is just absolutely awesome I really hope the camera is picking it up um, but it, yeah, you can see the creases in the page. I just absolutely love it. 
that's really cute as well love those birds how sweet such a pretty page yeah I am loving working with this kit and that's the final base page and then all I've done is I've just printed the same obviously in a different order um, on the back um, but they are going to be the pages ready for my signature like I said I've got other bits and pieces that I'm throwing in as well other different papers um, but these are the printed base pages um, but yeah as you can see an absolutely gorgeous kit but again because of my technology issues um, I will not be able to show you me making it but I will obviously have a flip through once it's done right sorry so back to this right so we have this now inked up I'm thinking of having it kind of hanging off the edge I really like this little stamp so I think that's going to have to go on there somewhere and then I'm going to have my bunny so I'm just trying to think how I want to arrange yep I think I might do that so stamp first If any of you watching are YouTubers and have your own channels, let me know in the comments, what technology do you use? So do you use your phone? Do you have a webcam? What is it that you do when you're recording your videos? What's your best setup? Because as I say, I need to replace mine. I'm thinking, do I upgrade my phone as I clearly am having just in issues in general with my phone? Um, or do I just go down the route of having just a completely different camera that I use for recording? Um, I'm not entirely sure. So yeah, in the comments let me know what do you use? What's the best option that you've found? Because I am open to all ideas. I'm just going to trim that bit off because we don't want that end piece. Okay, so that's a cute little tag. I like that. What else have we got? So I've got this one here, which I think I'm just going to attach the cluster because that's decorated enough. Um, so I think I'm just going to attach that to the bottom. That's cute enough. excellent beautiful I really love those flowers so nice um, that was the back end wasn't it might just stick that on there just so it's got somewhere to go let's not waste anything if we can get rid of it excellent right just might need to walk down the side brilliant that'll do um yeah these are actually really really lovely like i said i love that shape that it's created right now for this one oh i've got this little one as well that one i made with that small one so i'll have to see if we can squeeze that in somewhere as well so i want this up here and i don't mind if this is overhanging a little bit either so let's put that on but let it overhang Awesome. And then we're going to have the bunny sitting there as well. He's so cute. Yeah, I think that was my comment under Natalie's post when she put them in the um, Facebook group. It was just like, oh, the bunnies. They are just so cute. Cute, cute, cute. Right. There's my bunny. Right, here's for the vellum pocket. Now this is either going to be an absolutely roaring success or it's going to be an absolute nightmare and it's not going to work. We will see. Okay, so grabbing my teeny little scoreboard. 
I am just going to score down here. So let's have a look. Um, I want to be careful because vellum is not very forgiving, is it? So they're not particularly measured. I have literally just guesstimated and hope that they are okay. So I'm just going to try and bend that now. As I say, vellum is not overly forgiving. So let's just trim those corners. Let's get rid of that. Right, okay, so that's going to be my little pocket that's then going to be stuck on there. And then, yeah, like I say, I'm thinking that I can then pop something in there. I mean, obviously the tag's too big, but the idea is, is that the recipient's name or an address or something can go in there. Uh, but yeah, I think that's quite cute. Right, let's try and stick that down then. Right, I don't think glue is probably going to be the best bet. So we are going to use some double sided tape instead. I'm not even sure how this is going to fare. This, even though this is a thin one, this might still be too thick. We will see. Yeah, it might be a bit too thick for the bottom. We'll have to have a think how we're going to do that. So the bottom I might use a bit of glue. I'm just going to peel off the backing. I'm just going to fold it over slightly where it's hanging over the edge. That's it. Let's peel off this side. And then, like I said, just a little bit of glue down that bottom because I don't think I've got tape that skinny. Awesome. And then stick that in here. I think that is just absolutely stinking cute. Okay, so I actually have some tea stain paper here, so let's have a look if we can make something out there.
Okay, so let's put almost to make it like a little tab on the top. Do it the other way, can't we? So it's all frayed at the top. So let's do that. I'll just add a bit of ink, grunge it up a little bit. Awesome. So a little bit of glue at the top. Bit of the cheesecloth there. Okay, I have this really cute blue floral washi tape, which I think I'm just going to pop along the edge as well. Just helps hold that cheesecloth in place. And then how cute is that? So that's going to go in here. Just like that. And then like I said, you can put the name on there. That is really cute. Okay, and what can we do with this? Could put it on the back. What else have we got? Oh, I've got... I do like that. I'm going to have to use that for something else. Uh, okay, so maybe just a bit more of this. Okay, yep. So bit of glue. Okay, awesome. Well, that's my quick little craft along over. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed watching. Um, as I said, I will put the link down below for iMoon Crafts if you want to go and check out um, their different supplies. I have really loved these dies. I've loved using them in here. I think, um, like I said, they cut really, really well. Um, and I love the different shapes of these labels and like I said the fact they can make li these little thin frames is really really cool. Make sure you go and check out the Line.Tarot Facebook group as well so that you can have access to the freebies as I said there are other freebies there um, and just to see what other kits uh, Natalie has available in her Etsy shop. She is an amazing designer, um, I don't think there's a kit that I haven't liked yet um, she always has such beautiful designs. So yeah, come over to the line.arrow Facebook group um, You will see lots of people making amazing things uh, with her digitals. Well, that's it from me I will be back again soon Hopefully to show you the flip through of my spring writings journal and you'll get to see those lovely papers again from Natalie Thank you very much for watching everyone I hope you have a wonderful crafty day and I'll see you in the next video See you later now. Bye bye.